Hi, my name is Michael Jones. I'm one of the pastor teachers at the Orange View Church of Christ in Garden Grove, California. Um, we've elected to put together these little video devotional opportunities uh, to send out to the congregation each day over the next month or so while we're kind of going through that whole coronavirus event where we kind of have to embed in place. Um, so as such, we'll spend a few minutes each day kind of going over some things that are appropriate in the Word of God to enable us to continue to grow and develop in our spiritual life. Today I wanted to talk to you about the uh, power of God and having that work in your life. When you were baptized, the scripture says that you were baptized into Christ. In fact, that's exactly what Galatians 3.27 says. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ, you have put on Christ. When we look at a verse like that, that preposition into talks about both a change of location where you are as well as a change of relationship with whom you are. And uh, as we look at that passage, I want to focus a little bit on the grammar that's involved in that, specifically as to what difference it makes that we are in Christ. So Ephesians 1.3 says that Christ has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places for those of us who are in Christ. In Romans 8 and verse 1, he says that there is no condemnation for those of us who are in Christ. Christ. In 2 Corinthians 5.17, a passage that we refer to a lot, the Apostle Paul there tells us that if anyone is in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. So being a new creation is dependent upon us being in Christ. Having spiritual blessings is dependent upon us being in Christ. Uh, being exempt from the condemnation of God is dependent upon being uh, us being in Christ. So when we begin our spiritual life with God, certainly being in Christ is a definitive aspect of what that involves. But what I want to focus on today is what that means with our daily walk together with God. There's another reason why being in Christ is so critically important for those of us who are walking together with the Lord. And that is because that's where the power of God is found. Um, as we walk together with the Lord and we have access to the power of God, that enables us to walk in spiritual victory, to overcome the works of the devil, and to grow um, and become more and more Christ-like each and every day. So um, I want to draw your attention for the time that remains here in our little devotional time to Ephesians 6, uh, particularly verse 10. So in Ephesians 6.10, the Apostle Paul says, Finally, my brethren... Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. So that verse makes reference to, again, that prepositional idea that we are in the Lord. But it also talks about us uh, being together in the power of his might. Now, I want to get a little technical with you, but not crazy so. Um, we're going to talk about a particular Greek case that's called the locative case. Locative just refers to location. It refers to where it is that we are. And within this passage, it uses the locative case to describe where we are, and it says that we are in the Lord. That's where we are. Um, it, when you go through the book of Ephesians, he talks about that actually quite a bit. If you go all the way back to Ephesians chapter 1, he uses that description in verse 3, in verse 4, in verse 6, in verse 7, in verse 10, in verse 11, in verse 13. And he uses this repeating concept that we are together in him, in Christ, in whom, in the beloved. And in that, what Paul says is that when we become a child of God, we are actually placed inside Christ. Okay, so just like you have a physical address where you live physically, you have a spiritual address where you live spiritually. And that spiritual address where you reside is in Christ. Okay, now... Here's why that matters. That same passage in Ephesians 6 tells us that that's where the power of God is. It is in the Lord. So if we're in the Lord and the power of God is in the Lord, that means that we're constantly there together with the power of the Lord. And that's what, again, enables us to live a victorious Christian life. Um, one commentator kind of described it this way. He said, think of it like an aquarium. The aquarium inside that is water, and there are fish. The fish is not the water, and the water is not the fish, but they're both inside the aquarium. The power of God and the Christian person are not the same, 
but they're both together inside Christ. So as such, they're constantly like rubbing elbows with one another. They're constantly together with that. So you may not realize it, but you are always together with the presence of God, day to day, hour to hour, minute to minute. And that presence of God includes the power of God in your life because it's there with you all the time. This is probably why the Apostle Paul could say very confidently, I can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens me because that strength and power and ability to succeed in the Lord is always there with you. So I hope you find that helpful to you as you go about your day to day. And I'll be back again tomorrow with some more encouraging words from the Lord. Thanks a bunch. Bye.